Hey guys, it's Kendra. So today I wanted to do a kind of like a clothing haul slash outfit ideas for the winter time and also kind of how to work your outfits when you are pregnant, especially when you're just pregnant. Right now I'm 10 weeks, but I'm showing and I know you show a lot earlier with your second pregnancy and I'm thinking especially since I had twins since I was so large with them that I that's why I'm just showing so quickly let me just show you I mean I have a sweater on but like what in the world let's let's hold this up like I also did just eat pizza so that could be part of it too so I got some new I got a new pair of shoes I got some new tops and sweaters and a lot of the sweaters I got before I was even pregnant, before I knew I was pregnant. So I haven't tried them on in a while. I put them in a bag and I was like, I'm going to film these in a video. And for kind of forgot about them. So <laughs> let's hope they are like long enough that they'll fit me for a while. If not, I'll show you how you can kind of work clothes when you're pregnant, kind of make them last. So I'll talk you through each piece and then we'll go through some outfit ideas. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys are pregnant, let me know your go-to outfits down below in the comments. I know when I was super, super pregnant, I just lived in leggings and tank tops and like kind of open sweaters just to kind of throw on. But it's definitely harder when you're getting pretty big. So it's kind of like when you're definitely showing to when you're not super large. That's like the prime time to be pregnant, I feel like, for dressing because you can show off your bump. Right now, I kind of just look like I ate a lot of food. So it's a little bit awkward, so we'll talk about it. So before we get into the tops, I wanna show you guys my new shoes that I'm so excited to have because I'm gonna wear them, I'm gonna wear them to death. I'm gonna wear them for every single occasion. I know it sounds weird, but we're going to Disneyland. We're taking them for the first time in February and I'm so excited, but these are the shoes that I want to wear and I know that's odd to think like these are perfect for D Disneyland but they just seem like perfect for Disneyland. They're by Koyo. I don't know if I even said their name yet. They are sponsoring this video so thank you to Koyo because I'm just excited to have a pair of shoes that is super high quality and that will last me a really long time. I tried them on already but I kind of wanted to just keep them in the box to show you what the packaging looks like because it's just really really nice. You get this canvas bag tote canvas satchel type of thing and one of the main things that drew me to them was that they have so many good reviews so I have the canvas ones I think the canvas are super cute and classic looking they also have leather ones so they have so many different colors if you go on their website I'll have a link down below for you guys in the description box but like so many different options. Shockingly, I chose the all white. I just think they're very classic and they'll match everything. But there was also one that I really liked that had leather right here. That was really cute. Um, another one I liked, the, the canvas was like a taupey color. So I thought that might be really pretty too. So we'll see how much I love them when I start wearing them a lot and breaking them in. Um, and then maybe from there I'll get another color because I think that taupe shade would be really cute too. I love classic tennies like these in the summer with shorts and a tank top. Obviously in the winter time you can wear them with jeans and a flannel, jeans and a sweater. There's something that you know you'll get a lot of use out of. Also these are designed in New York but they are made 100% in Italy. They're handcrafted. I think it's just really neat. So if you guys want to check out all of their styles, all the different colors, I will have a link down below in the description box. Okay, this top that I'm wearing, I have worn before in another video. This is from Windsor. It is pretty new to their website though. I'm thinking they still have it. I love the green color and I'm really into stripes now. You'll see in just a sec. So I'll try my best to find links to everything to put down below. This top I got from Nordstrom is from Madewell. I'm a huge fan of Madewell tops. I have a lot of their tank tops and t-shirts that I wear in the summer and I just loved the colors in these stripes. I feel like they're it's just perfect for this time of year. It's just so pretty and festive and I like the ribbed detailing. This shirt I'm hoping, I'm thinking it has good stretch. Next I got this top from American Eagle. I love the fabric of this. It feels so soft. It kind of feels like it's pre-washed. You know that feeling of some t-shirts? It says it has an oversized fit. Um, it ties at the bottom, kind of cinches. 
and then it's longer in the back, which I do really like because then you can wear leggings with it. And I usually don't buy pink, but I don't know, right now I'm kind of into it. Next I got two sweaters from H&M. I love this color so, so much. Love how vibrant it is. I love the chunkiness of the knit and it's super, super warm. Um, this one's a little bit wider. So this one I should be able to like grow into. <laughs> this one also I found there and I love the color. I think it's really different. It's like a marbled pastel and Again, kind of like oversized, a little bit longer in the back, you can see down here. And again, just that really nice chunky knit for the winter. I love sweaters like this. Now I, I just need to cross my fingers that it starts getting cold because I have shorts on right now. I will put some pants on when I'm trying these on, but it's just like so dry outside and so unpredictable the weather. It's supposed to rain this weekend, but who even knows? Now this I got, it's just kind of a basic, but I love just getting some basic pieces that I can wear over and over again. This is like the type, let me show you, it's just a long sleeve stripe top. I feel like whenever I'm getting dressed, I'm wanting things like this. I just think it's something that you can layer a ton of pieces with. You can wear so many different ways. Obviously you can just throw this on with like a pair of leggings and just wear it around the house with your slippers on, but you could also put on a pretty jacket, you can put on a scarf, wear it with a beanie, and I think stripes go really well with a lot of things. I like to mix stripes with things. So those are the new things that I picked up. And I'm trying to be more selective with the things that I buy now. Instead of buying more things, I want to just be really, really picky with my stuff. And I don't know if you guys remember when I was talking about decluttering um, the Con Murray method, one of the things that she says is when you're buying something new, you should like it enough to be able to replace it with something in your wardrobe. Wait, is that something she says or is that something that I just picked up from somebody else? I don't know, either way, that's something that I try to live by. If I'm not willing to get rid of anything, then I don't really need the other new jackets. Even if I'm not replacing a jacket for another jacket, just something else in my closet. Like if I'm, Taking in three new things, I try to get rid of three old things and I'll either donate those, I will give them to a friend, my mom, whoever wants them. It's just a way to kind of really make your closet exactly what it, what you want it to be. It's nice to kind of have like things that you just really, really love. Okay, enough with the rambling. I'm gonna show you these on now and just we'll talk through kind of getting dressed when you're pregnant. Okay, so the first thing that you need if you're pregnant, I mean, obviously you don't have to be pregnant to wear this stuff, but a black tank top, this will do a lot for you. It'll be just like the base for every outfit. So this one's from American Eagle. Here you can see my belly. It's just like, just kind of like a weird size. So um, I will wear this probably with every single sweater that I try on right now. Then I just have some jeans. I'll wear these for every outfit. These are from Windsor. And then I'll have these shoes on for every outfit too. So you can see them in the mirror. You can see like my full outfit. If you're trying to hide your bump, oversized sweaters are your best bet because you can really hide a lot with this, especially when you have some stripes or some pattern on your sweater. So this is what I've kind of been living in is like baggy oversized things when I'm going out just so it's not just like, I don't know, you just don't feel awkward like your little bump. Next, I have this sweater from Goodnight Macaroon, and it's just one of those like super fuzzy sweaters that are really popular right now. Again, something that's baggy but comfortable. You can wear like tighter pants and then a baggier top, and it just kind of hides your bump a little bit. And I think this looks super cute with tennis shoes. And then you have your black tank top underneath, and it's just a very simple outfit you can throw on and leave the house and you're fine. Here's the sweater from H&M. So this is a good length because it gives me some room to grow. It's super comfortable. I love the color of this. Um, what I did when I was pregnant with the twins is since I knew it was gonna get really large, I would just order stuff like this in a size bigger. So typically I get a small and I would just order a medium so that I could still kind of wear it after I had them, especially when you're postpartum, you're still, you still have a belly a little bit. So. I would just order stuff that's a little bit bigger instead of getting all maternity stuff because sometimes it's hard to find cute maternity stuff. Okay, here is the blue top. So what I was gonna say earlier, if you have a 
sweater that you are trying to wear but you are pregnant, wearing a tank top underneath will give you a little more coverage down below. So I like when it kind of hangs. I think that's really cute. It gives it kind of like a boyfriend look. And then it hangs a little bit down below. But actually, this will probably stretch really nicely because I can kind of pull it more and it'll, it'll give. I love this so much. It's been a long time since I have seen this because I forgot about it, but so cute. I'm excited to wear this. Moving on to this top. So this is one that's a little bit tighter. So if you're wanting to show off your bump a little bit more, just go with a thinner fabric. It's not going to conceal it as much. But I do really like this top. It's so cute and so comfy. I feel like I need to wear it a lot now because the bigger I get, it's not that long. So I think I got to get some use out of it now. Okay, so this top is really good actually if you're trying to hide your stomach if you're in that little in between phase because when you have a little tie here, it looks like the tie is what's creating that little bulk there rather than your stomach. So again, I would definitely wear just like a tank top underneath, but this would work actually for a while if you're trying to kind of hide it. But I do really like this. If you're not pregnant, this is a super cute top too. Last new top I wanted to show you. Here's the striped one. This one will work for a long time for me because it's longer. So I can really grow into this. It's so soft, the material is so nice. And I can do so much with this. I can layer a jacket, I can layer just so many things like this. I pulled a couple other things I wanted to try on for you guys. Um, bomber jackets are one of my favorite ways to just like spice up an outfit a little bit. And if you wanna show off your bump, I think they're a really good thing because it kind of just like lets your stomach stick out a little bit. Isn't this cute? So I just think stripes work. How many times can I talk about stripes? <laughs> they work well with a lot of different things. So this is like my go-to outfit. I always wear stuff like this, just kind of like simplistic, but easy, comfortable. I have one other jacket I wanted to show you. Both of these are by the company or brand Olivia Gray. And this one is like this beautiful silk taupe color. So again, if you want to accentuate your bump, this would be super cute. If I was a little bit bigger right now, I probably wouldn't wear this because it just feels kind of weird. I don't know if this is going to zip. I don't really want to break the zipper. Anyways, when you are trying to show off your stomach a little more, I just think little crop jackets like this, super flattering. And then the easiest way, obviously, if you want to hide your bump is to throw on a scarf. I like just like blanket scarves like this because they're super thick and cozy. You can tie it, which is what I do sometimes, so it's not as long. And then you're just like instantly hiding it. So this is just super fun and festive too. You guys know I wear a lot of flannels. I'm a flannel fanatic. They're the comfiest thing in the world. I wore this the other day. Did I wear this one? I think I wore this one or one similar. Uh, we went to go meet Santa with the girls and it was a, it was not the best. Uh, June freaked out. But I wore this with some black leggings and it was perfect. Really comfortable and it gives you just a little bit of extra something here. And it's just my go-to. These are things that I gravitate towards during this time of year. If you guys live somewhere colder, obviously you're gonna be wearing a lot more chunkier things and heavier coats but in Southern California it's just not really not really necessary um, but I hope you guys enjoy this hope you guys like seeing some ideas that I either hide my bump accentuate my bump it's kind of just all about the like textures that you're wearing and the prints so if you guys are pregnant congratulations I'm excited to kind of start this journey again um, whew, I'm out of breath and completely sweating. And if you guys are looking for some classic sneakers, look no further. These are so cute. I will have them linked down below. Check out all the colors. They're amazing. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.